So we are working on a rare disease called Lafora disease. This is a form of epilepsy. It's a neurodegenerative uh, disease. These kids are perfectly fine until very early teenage years, and then their seizures start. Once the seizures start, they just don't stop. Their whole rest of their life, they're seizing, and the seizures are just getting worse and worse and worse. They get visual hallucinations, eventually they get into a demented state, and then they die in a massive convulsion. So it's a horrible disease, it's inherited, and uh, yeah, it's known as one of the worst uh, neurological diseases of children. Just averting the disease altogether all would be a huge, huge gratification for me personally, and definitely for these families. In these patients' brains, uh, there's a disturbance in glycogen metabolism. Glycogen is the main source of energy for the brain, and it's supposed to be formed in a spherical fashion so it stays soluble in the cell. In these patients, uh, glycogen has long branches, so it's kind of like a bad hair day for the glycogen, and it precipitates, aggregates, and accumulates into these large uh, inclusions called Lafora bodies, and these drive a neuroinflammatory, neurodegenerative process. It's a complicated uh, genetic story we've been working on for many years. The end result is that, the, again, as I said, the branches of glycogen are too long. The enzyme that elongates these branches is called glycogen synthase. So we devised um, a method to downregulate glycogen synthase. These are these uh, divalent siRNA uh, type molecules in collaboration with our colleagues at University of Massachusetts. Um, so basically, this down-regulates uh, glycogen synthase and prevents glycogen from having these long branches and therefore keeps it soluble, averts the whole Lafora body problem and the whole neurodegeneration problem. It basically cures the mouse model uh, and now we're getting ready to apply it to humans. The nice thing about these divalent siRNAs is that they're very long-acting. If things go as we suspect they would go, uh, they would be acting maybe up to six months, even longer, ideally a whole year. So um, they are administered through uh, injection by lumbar puncture in the spinal fluid. So it would be a scenario where a patient would come once a year, get an injection and not worry about anything for six months or a year, depending on how things turn out, uh, which would be tantamount to a cure for an otherwise horrible disease. So the support of the Harrington Discovery Institute and their advisors has been instrumental in us kind of figuring out how best to develop this relatively new type of drug and uh, get to, you know, uh, uh, eventually into uh, patients uh, quicker. We're not anywhere near that yet, but they have put us on the correct track and their monthly support has been really, really helpful on kind of not reinventing the wheel uh, again and again and kind of following a beaten track uh, that they know from their experiences and their uh, expertise. And so things are moving much faster than uh, they otherwise would.